July 31st, 2022. It's our Shell Lake trip. I'm back here talking to myself, confusing Anna, my daughter. We're on the first portage in the river, the Little Indian Sioux River. So a 60 rotter. The big pond that was blocking the portage is gone. So now it's a straight 220 rod walk. That must have been something when, when it broke loose. I'm guessing now this scoured rock is where the water dumped out and came right down into Shell Lake. Bought this tarp last year on Amazon and glad I did. So, kind of a hammock style tarp so I can put it up and it's a real nice place for us to sit when it's raining. So we just got to camp and about 2 o'clock it starts raining and I think it's uh, according to the forecast it's supposed to be off and on for the rest of today. But tomorrow looks like it'll start to dry out. peak blueberry time here out on the Sioux Hustler Trail. We we're just doing a day hike from Heritage Lake over to the Devil's Cascade and on the high ridges there are blueberries galore. We're trying out these BV 500 bear vault barrels this year. Three of these equals one of the 30 liter blue barrels. And I'd heard the blue barrels aren't 100% guaranteed for ground storage. So I thought I'd give these a try. These have been tested and approved. And I, I like them as far as the simplicity you just put your food in them and at night you drop them on the ground away from camp so you don't have to find a big tree branch and deal with ropes and stringing up your packs or your barrel and they're most likely going to keep the critters out and the bears out so the one tip someone gave me was for opening them you can either press in on the tabs which is a little bit difficult especially if it's been raining and you're cold and maybe not in the mood to do that in the morning so you just take a card and stick it in the tab and twist the lid and that'll make the tab tabs move past each other so two barrels for two people five days and then I have my ursac for the overflow